wants the transitional arrangement to keep going. Until something bigger or better comes along. Until then, we wait for something to change the rules of the game. Until then, we continue with the, the policy of frenetic inertia. <laughs> On each side to think they have something to show for all their hard negotiating. The British are brilliant at pleasing both sides. Some clauses of the treaty suit one side, some give a victory to the other. Balfour knew what he was doing with that declaration. Tell me you're not turning your attention to the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> this is the will of the people, Paul. A constant state of doubt and uncertainty. Exactly, and the existence of that doubt and uncertainty is surely the only thing people have left to hang on to. <laughs> Ambiguity, what can we be sure about ever again? It was fast and snappy and funny and um, dark and hilarious and bleak and brilliant. Well, that was absolutely glorious, really funny, smart, and scary as well. What are we doing? What's going to happen to us? You have to see the show, Brexit the Play, you have to see it, don't miss it. I've just seen Brexit at the King's Head, it was brilliant, it really was a joy every minute of it. I was sad when it ended, and so many one-liners, so many cracking gags in there. I've just seen Brexit the Play, completely loved it, second time I've seen it, very, very funny, distressingly funny, um, really clever, and it's, you know, I encourage everyone to come along and see it, it's great. I thought it was extremely funny and uh, very quick and very well acted and uh, it was exactly the sort of laugh I needed about this desperate situation. Do you want me to join you in running a government that doesn't have any policy? <laughs> well, what's the alternative? <laughs> if this government force all we'll see is that bearded Labour Gandalf driving his motor over and down the street <laughs> on the threshold of ushering in the new year of women-only bakeries and the nationalisation of shoes. <laughs> Having a government without any policies is a vital public service. <laughs> but at least he believes in something. Oh, come on, Paul. <laughs>